What's up everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get into a Windows laptop if you are locked out. Um, don't go using this for evil purposes, don't go using this for stolen items. Um, I know where this one is coming from, so everything's all good. Uh, two things, or one thing you'll need to know is what kind of laptop it is, obviously just look at it. Sometimes there's different ways to get into the startup menu, um, but what we're going to do is um, start the computer, immediately start hitting escape because this is an HP and that's going to pull it into the uh, startup menu. What we're going to do is go to F11 system recovery here and uh, it's going to be kind of hard for you to see this at all. So I'm going to put the code in the description below and I'm going to walk you through this so you kind of know how it's going. Uh, this is an older laptop so it may be a little bit slower here but the basis should be the same. Here we go. Now this works for uh, you know Windows 10, pretty much into any Windows. But if you have your your account linked to a Microsoft account, this won't work. I won't make a video on how to get by that. If you need to get by that, you're gonna have to do some more studying, or you're really gonna have to take this somewhere. This is so you don't have to pay uh, 75 to 100 dollars. And like Best Buy or someplace like that to try and reset the password. Maybe um, this is a company computer and you need some files immediately because you've got a presentation due or you've got a report going out and you just had to let the employee go and they changed the password when they weren't supposed to and no one checked behind them and the tech guy's out of town and they can't get to it remotely and you don't know what to do. You came to the right place. So like I said, do everything before. <laughs> Choose your keyboard layout do is choose US and you can't really see this but it should be the same in pretty much anything you go to. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to troubleshoot. So if you scroll down to troubleshoot, it's always going to be, what we need is always going to be in the advanced options. So find whatever advanced settings that you have and look for a command prompt or it might say CMD. Now this brings up the, uh, the basic command prompt here, but this is like a half-assed command prompt. We need the real command prompt. So let me walk you through what we're, what we're about to do. We're going to change the file name. Of uh, Once you see the login screen, you're going to see three little icons down here on the bottom right, and one of them is going to be the ease of access button. We're going to change that to the real command prompt where we're going to go in and we're going to change the password manually. Like I said, this won't work if you have a linked account. I won't say how to do it, but if it's not a linked account, here's how you get in. So what we're going to do now is you notice the directory set X probably if you're in C or if you're in D if you're in C good if you're in D switch over I don't know why you'd be in D in the first place you'll probably log in as X so just type C colon C colon enter now you're in the C directory so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, make a copy of the file that we need to change so we don't mess anything up so like I said the code will be down below let me enter it copy Windows System 32 Tillman EXE They asked me to overwrite because I've actually already done this before but I'm, uh, I'm showing you how to do it now so yeah that's what we're going to do uh, you won't you won't see the the overwrite though it'll just say whatever and now we're gonna put the CMD into there so code will be down below I'm gonna enter it now copy Windows System 32 CMD.exe and we're gonna put it in Windows System 32 Tillman.exe. Make sure that's right. Copy Windows System 32 CMD to Windows System 32 Tillman.exe. Now it's going to ask you to overwrite. Just type yes. One file copy. Okay, so that's it. Now we just need to type exit. Exit out of that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn off the PC. Did that work? That did not work. I think this is actually faster pulling it up. So now that it's off, let's turn it back on. And now we're going to go to the full login menu. And like I said, uh, once we get to the login menu, we'll have three buttons down here. 
we're going to press that one. The real command prompt with administrative privileges will pop up, and we will be able to uh, reset the password to whatever we want. We can add users, we can do whatever we want, but for right now, we just want to reset the password. And a lot of times when this comes up, I'm actually surprised it hasn't started yet. It may say uh, checking and repairing disk because you did make some alterations to it. Sometimes it does that. Uh, skip disk checking, press any key. I'm surprised it actually gave me the option to skip disk checking. I say every computer is different, but you know, you might get it. Here we are. And wait for it because it is an old computer. It's not going to start instantly. Wait for the uh, users to load. Okay, here we are. Now down here at the bottom. Ease of access. Uh, pulls up the command prompt just like we arranged for it to do. So now, third part of the code going to be down below. I'm going to show you what it is right now. And um, as you can see, the username, that's what you want to change. So we're going to type that user. That's what you need to know for the password that you're going to change. Net user, username, and then we're going to put dog because we're going to change it to dog. What? Oh, I misspelled user. Command completed successfully. Exit. And now let's just see if it works. Look at that. It says welcome. We got in. Oh, now I can get those reports out. Now I can send you whatever things that are on this that I need to keep my job and not get in trouble. Oh, and I just saved the company seventy-five to a hundred dollars. But like I said, don't use this for evil purposes. Don't, don't be that guy. You don't want to be that guy. I'm literally waiting for this thing to come up just so I can turn around and shut it down. Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. Start. Okay, this is taking too long. But what you want to do is shut it down, and then we're going to put everything back to normal. So I'm going to walk you through that. Like I said, the code would be down below. Turn it on. Immediately start pressing escape, or whatever you would press to get to your startup. You'll have to just, you know, quick Google, get to startup on, you know, Asus, Dell, HP. It'll pull it up right there. F11 system recovery. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing, but in the opposite order before. So, so far it wasn't too bad. One line of code to copy the file. Second line of code to copy the command to the file that we want, that we need to see, the ease of access button. Uh, then one line of code to rename the password. So now we're going back and we're going to put one line of code to move it back to normal. And we could remove the file that we have, but show you that. Okay, choose your keyboard, uh, go down, like I said, troubleshoot over to advanced options, command prompt. So remember where we put the, oh, yeah, uh, starting in the X directory, jump over to C. So C, colon, now we're there. And we put it in slash util, actually, we're going to put copy, we moved it to slash utilman.exe and we're copying the utilman which is the ease of access button and we're putting it back to where it belongs so windows slash system 32 uh, slash utilman.exe Make sure that's right. So you're taking the slash utilman.exe and you put in Windows System32 utilman.exe. Yes. Uh, you know, overwrite yes. Enter. 
one file copy. So that's it. Um, like I said, you may be worried, what about the command prompt? Command prompt has always been where it was. We just took the file name that executes the application and we made a copy of that and we put it in this other place. So it's still where it belongs. And this is where it belongs now. So everything's done. Back to normal. You can just go to exit and turn off PC. We're done. So that's how you get in. Like I said, if it's a link to a Microsoft account, this is not going to work, and I will not make a video on that unless there's enough request. But you're going to need to do a little bit more studying for that. So this will save you time. This will save you money. That's how it's done. So until the next tutorial, y'all have a good one and be safe.